Howdy all you delicious people, I'm here today to review The Boys, Season 3, Episode 8. Man, what a good episode. There were there were some certain things in this episode where I was like, you for kind of going on and doing uh, certain things to kind of leave us uh, thinking certain things were going on in this episode, so to speak. Uh, trying to be as vague as possible, but... There was so much also going on to this episode. Like, everybody had something they had to do. And I was like, God, this is going to be very difficult to, to talk about in whole when we go into this spoiler part of this. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to go on and just kind of mash up and just kind of just uh, try and go on and pull whatever I can uh, within talking about this one. So it might not be perfect. But it exists, so that is what it is. So, with the boys, if you've never gone on and watched this show ever and you're really just going into the current product, seeing if it's good, God, this show, especially this season, was well worth the wait. Um, because, man, did it give you a lot. But uh, it was also very good it was also just really uh just giving you like the obvious better season where there might have been sometimes where in other seasons you could have been like really that's it like really that's all they give us um but in this season it just kind of felt like man they're really uh going on to give us a really uh, impactful uh, season finale. This was a great episode. Easily thumbs up. So with that said, teeing it up, uh, technically what is going on in this episode, man, dialogue wise, we have um, a train uh, with a, a kind of uh, some bits of dialogue with, Nate, uh, we have Soldier Boy, who is to give us a glimpse at his past. Uh, we have Homelander and Noir chatting, so to speak. We have also Homelander, who is to be very upset with his own teammates and the own, and his own people that he works with. And we also have some dissension uh, between the boys in this season also about who or of who should do what when and kind of thing and so having certain people ju just kind of to be kept locked away at some point in these episodes or in this episode so there is so much to pull away from this as like man this is just so great such a great season finale and just a great season uh even if you were to also go on and watch the uh certain kind of episode with a number of people that are all just uh banging it out so to speak so with that said being of course to like how much more can i go on and say uh in the cryptic sense because there's just a ton uh, the things that they ended up doing with Maeve was freaking amazing. Um, really, uh, to have certain people in this episode to get killed off, and then there's also certain people who they are to kind of keep uh, around, just lying in wait to eventually use them somehow or another at some point. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I've... So with that said, I think it's about that time to just go into spoilers. Because uh, I feel like I just want to push into that. So with that said, I think it's about that time to just get into what is to be... Spoiler time, spoiler time. It's about the time you spoil f this episode. So in the beginning of this episode, we of course have Homelander. Who had gotten paperwork from Newman. And we're like, okay, what exactly does that paperwork mean? Even though I kind of figured it out. So Homelander is to make his way 
to speak with Ryan because Homelander is to have found out where they are hiding him, which honestly should not have really been that difficult to have figured it out. But uh, Ryan find or er, Ryan is found by Homelander, and so Grace is to try to go on and try to text and try to get to Butcher, and Homelander is to tell Grace like, hey, like. Put your phone away. I can hear you clicking uh, with those fingers of yours. Like, go on and just give me a moment with my son. So, Homelander and Ryan are talking over what had happened from the last time they really met together. And how Ryan was talking about him going off and killing his mother by accident and that's what homelander says like well hey it's an accident stuff happens so homelander is to tell ryan like hey like let's go on and like let's go home and let's go together so homelander goes with ryan and Grace at some point is trying to call Butcher, but Butcher does not answer. So we have a number of people that are all protesting for a number of different reasons. And one of those reasons eventually end up being is that they want to go on and free Maeve. Uh, free Maeve from her imprisonment. And there is a lot of people that are to have shirts called Believe Starlight. And there is a number of people that are on Homelander's side and they're wearing the red, white, and blue. So, uh, so we're having these kind of conflicting signs here. So, because of what is to have gone on here, they, uh, Vought decides to try and transport Queen Maeve and Queen Maeve through that ends up escaping. So Queen Maeve then is to wear an I Love New York shirt and is to meet up with all the guys and all the boys and eventually when Maeve meets up with Starlight and we have Maeve who's mentioning how like, well, yeah, Starlight, it would have been great if you would have like cap if you would have rescued me. And Starlight is just like, well, yeah, but that would have been hard to do. Because <laughs> of how like much security there was and how it's like how it's like in Vought. And Starlight didn't even know where Maeve really was because I guess Starlight wasn't even trying to go on. And figure out where May was, even though she probably could have factored it in where they were probably hiding her. But anyways, uh, let's go in to uh, kind of what certain people are going on and trying to accomplish in this episode here. So we have Frenchie who is to come up with the concoction of the gas to knock out Soldier Boy by hiding it in some of Starlight's uh, perfume, cologne. And so Mother's Milk is to look at Frenchie and be like, seriously? Like, this is to just be hiding in some a cologne or perfume? And Frenchie is like, well, yeah. And... One thing's for sure, like Starlight's clone perfume uh, is to smell a heck of a lot better. <laughs> so, the goofy thing of it is, like that whole thing that they just kind of uh, do, uh, that Frenchie had taken the time to put together, ends up just becoming a waste. That kind of sucks. So, we 
have Butcher who is going on and continuing to have to deal with Soldier Boy. And we now have Butcher that is to consistently throughout this episode convince Soldier Boy that he is not biologically his son. Or his uh, Homelander's son. Or Homelander's father? L let me backpedal that. So, Butcher is trying to convince Soldier Boy that Homelander is not Soldier Boy's son. So, because both Homelander and Soldier Boy are to know it's true. Homelander goes through the archives and is to find out the truth. And Soldier Boy is to be like, well, yeah, like, of course, it makes all the sense in the world. And so throughout this episode, we have Soldier Boy, who's very sentimental, who is to be thinking about that he's always ever wanted a kid and and this and that but butcher is to convince soldier boy that soldier boy never raised homelander and so it's not his son because he never really raised him so that basically uh vod had put their hands on on homelander and made him to be the the man that eventually Butcher wants to kill. Butcher wants to destroy. So, transitioning on to everybody uh, eventually getting suited up in this episode. So, Soldier Boy, Butcher, and Huey are to get on the road to make their way back to... Homelander, because really that's the only uh, factoring character left here, because we find Black Noir, is to make it back to Vought with his beavers and his goofy characters to then uh, talk with Homelander. So, while Butcher is driving his way on this road trip, he, of course, is to leave Huey behind. Butcher is to tell Huey that he does look very much like his younger brother. And so Butcher is going to protect Huey like he couldn't have gone and done to his brother. And so Butcher takes and knocks out Huey and leaves him into this bathroom for both Butcher and and Soldier Boy to go off and make their way to Homelander. So, we, uh, we have Huey who ends up getting picked up by Starlight, and Starlight is to now tell Huey that Temporary V could kill him. And Huey was to say, oh my god, Butcher just saved my life from taking more Temporary V. And Starlight's like, oh my god, that's like all you cared about. <laughs> and, but the whole time Huey is telling Starlight, it's like, well... You know what, Starlight, how like how about you finally just tell me like I told you so? Uh, because I know you desperately just want to say it. And Starlight eventually is like, no, no, I don't And Huey's like, come on, I know you want to say it. And she's like, I told you so. <laughs> like I knew this is all gonna happen. So Huey then uh is to mention that he was to start to realize what is happening now with comparing this to his dad i'm like well since i guess Huey's father can't actually be on the show they now have to reference him here <laughs> so 
and it's it's a comic book like what can you do uh like there's only certain numbers of people you can put on a show also so huey then is to talk about the time of which where uh huey's father was to lose huey's mother and how during that whole t entire time the hardest part ever for Huey's dad and the whole entire time Huey's dad turns around and is taking care of Huey and Huey then now realizes it that like his dad was feeling the worst pain in his life and every single day instead of Huey's father thinking about himself he thought about Huey instead so that kind of a that kind of great speech or whatever that Huey gives that I kind of butchered the sh out of but and I kind of really just kind of toned it down so we also had when uh, Frenchie was talking to Mother's Milk. Uh, we, of course, have Mother's Milk, who is to feel awful that Janine was to have witnessed Mother's Milk hitting Todd. And Mother's Milk trying to completely shield Janine away from anything bad. But then... Uh, by the end of this episode, Mother's Milk is to realize that maybe that's not what he should be going on and doing. Maybe Mother's Milk should try to go on and tell his daughter the real truth so Janine can understand the pain that Mo Mother's Milk is going through. And so by the end of this episode, we have Mother's Milk that goes on to tell Janine how Soldier Boy was to go on and kill a number of his family and was to go on and talk about uh, Janine's grandfather. So, and how Janine was to mention that Mother's Milk was her hero as uh, Mother's Milk's hero was his dad. So, going on and having to like really go on it and cover a lot here so homelander is with black noir so homelander is to mention to black noir that he went through the archives like i said before and had uncovered the truth and that vat knew all along who homelander's father was and they hid that from him and so Homelander is to go on and see the Black Noir is to consistently be writing like we must kill Soldier Boy. Uh, Homelander, of course, to ask Black Noir like what uh, Soldier Boy was like. And Black Noir ends up saying bad. <laughs> Homelander is like, oh no, like Soldier Boy can't really be that bad. And Black Noir just continues to to line in the word bad. So Homelander continues to talk to Black Noir, and Black Noir is only focused on killing Soldier Boy. So Homelander is to tell Black Noir that he is to see through Black Noir's mask. Every single uh, horrific scar that Black Noir has, if he's smiling, if he's sad, and so Homelander is to also be very upset with the fact that Black Noir was to have known all along that Homelander was Soldier Boy's father and said nothing 
And so Homelander just rips out Black Noir's chest and has him die. And so all of a sudden, all the animated characters, Beaver is just like, well, you're going to go on to heaven. <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever, you goofy characters. You're like, more than likely, we might just have Noir weirdly just still be alive somehow. Uh, because that would probably be the case to just be like, yeah, we killed nobody in this episode. And just you wait till the next season where like, <laughs> we're going to find out that somebody isn't dead or some goofy thing. Uh, so, because I, I don't trust any superhero show to tell me that someone is going to die because I never really and truly believe that. So, now, uh, let's cover the... So, eventually, Soldier Boy... Uh, and, and Butcher is to meet up with the rest of the boys. And so, like, their next strategy is, like, okay, like, we're gonna, like, get certain, like, people together to go up against Homelander. And so... Really, uh, with certain characters like Mother's Milk and Frenchie and Huey and Starlight. Uh, we have Maeve, uh, Soldier Boy, and Butcher, who are to put uh, the rest of the boys in this safe, and they go on to fight Homelander. And so after they go on and the boys are to figure out how to get out of the safe, they then concoct this plan of like, okay, like we're going to go on and try to save everybody. And there isn't a lost cause here. We're going to go on and just try to save everyone. And so what happens is they end up breaking the thing that is to supposedly gas uh, Soldier Boy. So now... Frenchie has to go on into Vought Tower and try to scramble to get another thing uh, to be able to take Soldier Boy down. So, now everyone's scrambling uh, to go into Vought Tower. So, let, let's talk about A-Train. So, A-Train is to meet with Nate and tell him that he has a superhero heart and that A-Train can go on and have his powers again. And then also, uh, A-Train is to break it to Nate that he was to have killed uh, Blackhawk. Or Blue Hawk? Blue Hawk? Black Hawk? So... We... We have Nate just kind of furious with A-Train. Because he would have liked to have seen that guy... In cuffs. Arrested. Instead of to have been killed by A-Train... And so now A-Train uh, is watching on as Nate, paralyzed, is to want A-Train to leave his place. And so... We have Homelander that is to go on and is to break the news to the Deep and to Ashley and to A-Train that Black Noir is dead. And Homelander also say that all three of these people that he is now in this room with are nowhere as equal to Black Noir. And 
Homelander is to then force Ashley to take off her wig. And Homelander is to tell the Deep to go after this vice presidential candidate. And then Homelander goes on and is to just kind of leave these people. So... We have Soldier Boy and we have Soldier Boy and Butcher that meets up with Homelander and we have this very nice moment where Homelander is trying to manipulate Soldier Boy and so Homelander is to consistently go on and keep bringing up to Soldier Boy that it's like, well, hey, I'm your son. Like, like I'm, uh, like I I'm your son. And, uh, and look, Homelander is to drag Ryan into this battle, and so Homelander is to tell Soldier Boy that, like, look, I'm your son, and he's my son, and we're a family. So. I say all this because before this battle gets going, we have a moment where Soldier Boy is talking to Butcher about how he was to have this one movie that came out that uh, was to go into Oscars to possibly win a Best Picture. It's a superhero movie. Superhero movies don't go on the Oscars. <laughs> What, what, is, what is Jensen Ackles thinking? I don't know. So, uh, we have Soldier Boy who's to mention that uh, this movie ended up getting uh, beat out that year. Uh, but Soldier Boy was to go on and, and uh, get laid anyways. So, Soldier Boy mentions that that whole story is a whole massive lie. Uh, because this guy was to... Uh, have gone on and been a boy who uh, lived on the south side and uh, was to be this man who went from being this person with no powers to getting his powers equal to his heart that was a heart of gold. And Soldier Boy is saying like, yeah, that was that was all a lie. Come to find out, Soldier Boy was to have uh, had his father, who owned a lot of substantial uh, real estate, a lot of substantial uh, buildings and such. And so, Soldier Boy had went to boarding school and got kicked out of boarding school. And it seems that... His father was uh, was very bad to him, let's just say, in a very vague-like way. And so Butcher was to go on and mention, like, well, did he take the belt to you? And Soldier Boy's like, no, like, he never did anything like that because he didn't want to take the time. He, he, he thought it was a waste of time. So to discipline his own son. So... Because they're going and exchanging both Butcher and both Soldier Boy about their uh, their youth and them having alcohol. And Soldier Boy was to have sneaked alcohol where Butcher was to have easily gotten it from his father. And <laughs> so... Uh, Soldier Boy ends up asking Butcher if his dad is still alive, and Butcher goes on as like, "Well, yeah." So, probably, and he pro he says he's probably uh, uh, crapping his guts out right now. So, Soldier Boy 
mentions that he went to boring school, got kicked out of boring school, and Soldier Boy went on and met with a bunch of uh, his father's golfing buddies to get to Compound V to get superpowers. And so when Soldier Boy became what he became, we, of course, turn around and have Soldier Boy's father tell Soldier Boy that he cheated. A real man wouldn't have had to cheat to get the success that Soldier Boy had gotten. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, the way they break this down with Soldier Boy is just so, like, oh my god. Just, like, a son who is never enough. Uh, yeah, just a son who is never enough. So, they go on into battle against Homelander, and so... We have... Of course, the boys who are also the rest of the boys who are trying to make it into this battle, but they uh, they're a little bit late. So Frenchie goes into the part of the lab with uh, Kamiko, and they end up fighting some of the uh, the Vought SWAT, and Kamiko ends up killing some of them, but Frenchie also gets shot. Uh, while trying to have his back turned to put all this uh, this stuff together to have this weapon against Soldier Boy, and then Kamiko runs uh, to give up this uh, to give this weapon of gassing Soldier Boy. So while. Maeve, Soldier Boy, Homelander, Butcher are all fighting together in this cramped spot. Ryan then is to try to defend his father, Homelander, against uh, Soldier Boy. So Ryan steps in and uses his heat vision to take down Soldier Boy. And then... Soldier Boy is to attack Ryan, and so Homelander is to go and check on Ryan, and so Butcher ends up getting ticked off, and so Butcher is to tell Soldier Boy to stand down, like you weren't supposed to hurt the kid. So Butcher is now fighting Soldier Boy while Maeve is fighting Homelander. And we have this amazing spot where while Homelander is fighting with Maeve and like Homelander is, uh, is trying to treat Maeve as like, no, like, let's like, we have bigger fish to fry uh, instead of you and I, uh, Maeve and Homelander. And no, Maeve is ticked because of all that time she had spent away in hiding like she's probably been doing that her whole life so Maeve then starts to fight Homelander and Homelander ends up putting a finger in this girl's eye and so now Maeve does not have an eye now and so But we have to go on and focus back on the Butcher and Soldier Boy fight. Because uh, eventually the rest of the boys kind of uh, chime in here. So we have at points where Starlight is trying to go on and uh, help with Soldier Boy. Uh, we of course have uh, the Butcher who's used his heat vision to try to take down Soldier Boy's shield. And he then goes and does it. And Mother's Milk is like, yeah, like your shield's down. Yeah. So, but then we go on and we have Soldier Boy who starts beating the crap out of Butcher. And 
then is to start to go on and take down uh, some of the other members here. So Huey is in this uh, is in this uh, room where he's going on and telling everybody to evacuate the building. Like this is not a drill kind of thing. And so Ashley is leaving and is to try to quickly make it out of here as the other Ashley is like, well, hey, like, uh, aren't I going with you? And Ashley's like, no, of course you're not, because I'm a VIP member and you're not. So Huey is realizing that uh, there's a point here where Huey wants to go on and protect Starlight, but instead he adjusts uh, the room uh, that Starlight is in, so all the light is to go on to her, so Starlight can be able to use this one big, uh, burst of her power to take down Soldier Boy. So, hopefully by this point we've kind of covered most of this episode, because I'm like, oh my god, there's so much to have, uh, talked about here. So, We have Kamiko who is to go on and try to deliver to Soldier Boy this uh, this mask uh, thing to take him out, and so all the boys kind of collectively together trying to all go on and put this mask over Soldier Boy. And Soldier Boy is, hey, like I'm not going back in that cage. I'm not going to go back. And have you guys, like, uh, like, basically have him sleep, uh, uh, be frozen away or be slept away. So, or kept away. So, Soldier Boy is to release this weapon. And while Maeve and Homelander are still fighting it out... And eventually turn to realize that Soldier Boy is going to use uh, this weapon here. We have Maeve that is to tackle Soldier Boy from off of this building to have them fall, possibly to their death. And the next thing we see after that is like, remember Queen Maeve, she had died for us, she had taken down Soldier Boy, and this and that. So, all of a sudden, we're like, oh my god, Queen Maeve had died, and come to find out, that's not freaking true. <laughs> come to find out, we realize that Queen Maeve had fallen, and the boys had retrieved her, and so Ashley is to know that Queen Maeve is still alive, and also, uh... Queen Maeve is to have a send-off with Starlight and is uh, eventually having uh, Queen Maeve with the girl she fell in love with with episodes before. And heaven forbid IMDb actually has a good list of all the cast members because heaven forbid they actually tell me uh, what Maeve's girlfriend was uh, from... Uh, especially season two, there's a lot of things going on in season two, uh, with Maeve and, uh, her girlfriend in that second season, uh, that eventually they broken up, that they kind of went their separate ways. So Maeve now without powers now, uh, is to now think about wearing an eye patch and uh, it seems that Maeve is to have uh, some people that she can kind of hide away from. And so, with that said, uh, Maeve is to go on and talk to Starlight and, and leave. So, Butcher, uh, or Butcher, uh, so... Soldier Boy, of course, is to uh, be put in uh, to this tank and is to be put to sleep by Grace. And 
so we're just kind of uh, like wondering whenever uh, they're going to go on and release Soldier Boy out again. Maybe they should go and wipe that guy's brain at some point. Give him the Wolverine treatment. So, if they could. But... We now have to talk about Butcher. Uh, we, of course, had Huey, who was kind of bleeding some brain out of his ears. We had Butcher, after this whole fight was technically over, how he was kind of bleeding from his nose. Uh, some brain goop. And he ends up falling over. Come to find out, Butcher is uh, to get a doctor that is to tell him that he probably has maybe another year left of his life. 18 months if he's lucky. And so the Butcher, or so Butcher is to go on and take a cigarette in this hospital. And the doctor is like, yeah, you probably shouldn't be smoking here. But Butcher is to tell this guy, it's like, well, hey, you can kindly just leave. Just kindly F off. So, with that said, uh, we also have, we're after that fight, Ryan was to go on and choose Homelander over Butcher and so both Homelander and Butcher or Homelander and Ryan leave together and then Butcher collapses and so we see next that Butcher and Ryan are in front of all these protesters and now Homelander is to showcase Ryan to the world and all of a sudden, it seems that some people are happy to see Butcher and Ryan, but one person is to throw this can at Ryan, hurting him. So Homelander takes his heat vision and kills this man. And all of a sudden, we have guys like Todd who are like, yeah! And then Homelander is like, yeah, I guess everyone can go on and accept that I'm just going to kill people. We also had that really cool moment when Maeve was to ram that metal thing into Homelander's ear. And I'm like, what after effects does that have? Probably nothing. Um, so, like, I was wondering when eventually a character was going to go absolutely berserk. Um... Because we still have that like Starlight moment where she was to have like that fist in the back of her uh, back of her back, and I was kind of waiting for someone to just freaking snap by the end of this, but we'll probably eventually get there at some point. So Starlight is to also give up her costume and become one of the boys, and everyone is to go on and say like, yeah, like we're definitely gonna go on and have you become one of us no matter what anyone else says. So, uh, we're having Frenchie telling Starlight that it's a democracy now. Who cares what Butcher has to say? So, everyone is to go on and vote that Starlight is to become one of them. And Butcher is to look on and just be like, well, like, okay, like, sure. <laughs> She's one of us. So, as he's kind of sipping this boy's cup and calling it a day. Uh, so... With that said, hopefully that covers everything, uh, but maybe not all. Uh, that that's very that was a very dumb thing to say, but uh, with that said, I think I'm gonna go on and pull out and get out of here. Uh, hopefully, um, oh, uh, we also had on the news that. Uh, Robert Singer, of course, was to go on and possibly be running uh, for presidency. And we, of course, go on and have Newman, who is going to be his vice president. And so they're looking on. And so Newman's like, yeah, like I'm going to be running. I'm going to be going and being VP. And... We have 
butcher that's like, we got to get rid of, we got to get rid of that girl. We got to kill her off. We got to figure out a way how to. Uh, so like, that's kind of like the, the ending of this episode uh, to get me out of here. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Uh, if there's anything that I forgot about, maybe uh, eventually there's going to be a rebuttal in season four. But uh, other than that, we'll, we'll see where all of this goes. So with you know, I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. One thing that I've, I had forgotten about I want to mention quickly, Cassandra. Uh, Cassandra uh, was to also, in this episode, leave the deep and go on and make her own book and say how the deep isn't who everyone uh, thinks that he really is. And the deep is kind of going on and kind of watching as his uh, past girlfriend is to go on and be on some interview talking about her book. Uh, so yeah, that's the only thing that I had left to kind of cover off the end of this. So with that said, bye everybody. Bye everybody. Like it was a very quick thing, but I was like, oh yeah, Cassandra and her book thing. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, that is the only thing that I had left to, to talk about via this. So bye everybody.